Bruh. I am not ready for what is about to happen in this vlog. Good morning guys and it is a good morning this time and I am talking kind of quiet because it is bright and early and everybody in my house is still sleeping but I am off to California today and I literally just got home like not even 30 hours ago. I've slept in my own bed for literally two nights and we're off again but we're going to California and I'm super excited for what is about to happen but I'm definitely not prepared. <laughs> So the reason that I am going to California is because I will be participating in a Spartan race. And if you guys don't know what a Spartan race is, it's basically a, well the one that I am doing is called the Super and it is a 10 kilometer course with 25 obstacles that you have to go through. Like you get to throw spears, you got to go over walls, you got to like climb nets, carry big giant boulders. There's 25 obstacles in this course and it's 10 kilometers long which calculates to about 6.3 like, miles if I remember correctly but I am not ready for this at all. This is a very I would say last minute almost spontaneous trip because I did book this maybe I would say two maybe three weeks ago with my cousin when we were in Oregon at our family reunion. I've had no training for this. Bruh. I'm going into this with no training Fresh off of vacation, I had good food, I ate a lot, slept a lot, but I am nowhere near prepared to do a Spartan race, but we'll get to see how this all goes. <laughs> I got you. in Sacramento, California, and we got picked up in the Jag. This yes, is sir. the latest thing ever. Let's go. We're making big moves today. Oh, big so moves so today. So this acceleration on the Jag is ridiculous. This sounds so nice. Oh my God. So I'm here with Aaron and he's the guy that uh, is making this all happen. So he's the sponsor for this video today. Shout out to him. Uh, and what are we doing exactly? Subscribe to our only fan. We are here in Sacramento because I'm going to be going to do a Spartan race along with Aaron yes, this sir. Saturday. I'm not ready for it. Like no training was done. It's I have okay. not prepared. It's I just right. came back from vacation. This feels like I'm still on vacation, so I've definitely not prepped for a Spartan race, and it's, what, 10 kilometers, 25 obstacles, it's gonna be a wild one. Anthony did say f*** it when we were in Oregon, when hey. I was telling him about this, so that's on him. I never really convinced him. <laughs> it's All my life's my f*** it, and he, he's here. Hey, right? just f*** it. Just f*** it. <laughs> yeah, if it can be, oh, I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it anymore. <laughs> you can't say the motto on camera because it is some people will take it the wrong way and we will get we probably would get canceled so we're not gonna say it but hey just fuck it we got this 
All right, y'all. We're uh, switching roles right now. We just got out of Winko and uh, he's our driver now. So <laughs> pray to God to know what he's <laughs> Hold doing. Hold on to your horses. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be, it's gonna be scary. Uh, he's gonna launch it. Yep, he's launching it. Uh, <laughs> just hear that roar. Anthony, how do you like this? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so nice. So I put the car in the sports mode. So let's just see what happens and. Great Britain Dude. under the hood. Guys, we are back at the house now. Earlier, when I was oh. at, um, going through, uh, TSA, right? Oh, no. Like, my I grandpa know. wanted to send some honey to oh. my aunt. Oh, well, it got confiscated, and they tossed it in the trash. It got too. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to give it to my aunt. I went through, and then I was like, wait, I'm missing a bag. And then, like, this lady was holding my red backpack that had the honey in it. And she's like, yo, is this your bag? And I'm like, yeah, that's my bag. And she's like, oh, well, come over here. Like, there's there's stuff in here that's not supposed to be in here. She's like, is there anything sharp? I'm like, no, there's nothing sharp in there. And she pulled out the two jars of honey, and she's like, yo, like, this is too much. The quantity is too much that you can't take. So they didn't let me take it on to the plane. And she's like, oh, like, you can either check this bag, or you can, like, toss the honey. And I was like, ah, oh, like, I don't want to check the bag. That's a waste of honey, you know that, that's right? Like 30 Bruh. bucks. Oh my god. <laughs> But so then I was like, oh, I guess you guys can just toss the honey. And she's like, oh shit, but this is like the good honey too. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> now there's some honey just sitting in a trash can at the airport. This, I am disappointed in you. I kind of knew that it was going to happen too. Yesterday I was kind of like skeptical and they're like, yo, like, just take the honey. Like, you'll be able to get through security. It didn't work, guys. So uh -huh, now you know. Don't bring honey to the airport. Check your bags if you got honey in there. Remember. <laughs> Guys, this is why you don't have kids. Elon, did you do that? Was that you, Elon? Was it you? Did you do this? Guys, look at this. This is disgusting. Ew. Did you do this? Was that you? This is you. It was me? Ew. He takes some fat deuces. Yeah, yeah man. This little kid produces a lot of output. <laughs> it smells so bad too, Eva. Oh Come on. <laughs> Guys, we got two days before the race happens. And right now we are going to go bike riding and maybe doing a little bit of swimming. Yes, sir. Which is technically going to be my training <laughs> for this Spartan race. This is all the training that I get. It's a little bit of cardio and a little bit of outdoor activity. So maybe it'll help, or maybe I'll just get injured and won't even be able to participate in this part race. <laughs> but I'll carry him if he gets injured, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna throw me over his shoulder and across that finish line. But that is where we are heading today. Can we sit onto the truck? Come on, show, show off your muscles. Where are you at? Bruh. Ew. <laughs> you see this one-armed curl? <laughs> No one likes to show off. Uh, now we trap Aaron in the trunk. No! Oh no! What am I going to do? Oh wait! Yeah! Boy. I don't got it. I don't got it. I got it. Let's go. Holy crap! This is the riskiest thing I have ever done in my life. Currently biking with one hand. It feels so nice to be biking. And this trail is freaking awesome. So nice out here. All of a sudden guys, we are off-roading. We are starting our trail, our little descent, and this is gonna be super bumpy, super rough. Yeah. There's some bikers staring at us because I'm talking to this camera here. <laughs> Here's the trail that we're about to go down. And we're we're doing this in, uh, I got Crocs. I got flip-flops. He got flip-flops. And I'm wearing my bro tank. Oh, watch out, watch out. Yep. He's just going for it. He full Sunday. He, he, he said fuck it. So we gotta do the same thing. We just gotta say fuck it. Let's do All it. Right. Oh dear God. Here we go. What? This is definitely not a one handed activity. Ah! Aaron, what the fuck? This boy's brake checking. Okay, guys. Okay. 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 <laughs> dangerous i'm gonna turn off the camera until we get down this trail because i almost already ate crap 
and uh, Aaron already ate shit. So <laughs> this camera's going off until we get to the end of this little trail, but we're, we're gonna have some fun. We're kind of just walking on this bridge. Oh my God, that was super zoomed this way. I'm not too quite too sure what these signs really mean or what they say. Comment below. Tell us what these, what these mean. I interpret this for us. What does this mean? Guys, look, I collected a shitload of water. <laughs> oh, that was refreshing. That, that was, was nice. Refreshing, yeah. That was a nice little dip good. after our short bike ride. Now we gotta head back. Another two miles back. Head on that way. Let's head on that but way first. That was fun. All right, let's get going. It is the day before race day, and we are gonna head down to Monterey so we can stay in an Airbnb before the race tomorrow. Excuse me, I just drank a green juice and it was kind of nasty. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> he made it. All right, but that's where we're headed, and uh, we'll see you guys in there. <laughs> but we have made it to where are we Salinas or uh where are we Brandon where, where are we we're in the Monterey area right we're somewhere in the backwoods country of Monterey of California <laughs> <laughs> we, are Royal Oaks. we are in Royal Oaks all right we're here at our Airbnb for the night so we got sofa situation here Which and is then a pull out bed yep queen bed up in this baby. Bathroom in here, currently occupied. A little sink, kitchen setup, and that's our fridge. And look, they even gave us pizza. a frozen pizza. <laughs> and we're just gonna rest up and take it easy. Not too much happening. I'll let you know if if he dies. Yeah, yeah. So, so if I die, Aaron here is taking over. <laughs> and then you'll see his I'm ugly face. taking over the family business that we've always <laughs> talked about. Yep, and you'll be seeing his ugly face from now on. But we're just gonna be chilling and uh, I guess stretching, prepping up for the Spartan race that yes, sir. I'm not prepared to do. God just fucks up your order and you gotta chow down on that shitty Shane sandwich. Just dropped a water bottle. Good morning, people. It's raining out here a little bit, just a little bit, but it is time for us to head off and go towards the race. We do have some time before the race. We're gonna get there a little bit early, check around, see what's up. I get my sunglasses. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Y'all, we made it to the parking lot. Well, I gotta get my shoes on and then we gotta get to the buses. I'm not gonna bring the camera along because it's muddy and it's gonna get dirty. He'll have everything on his phone, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, we'll see you guys afterwards, if we complete it. <laughs> if we survive. We're as prepared as unprepared can be, right? Yes, right, guys? Sir, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. 7373, bro. Everybody here looks so prepared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, it's uh, all right, we're prepared. Us three here haven't had any training. <laughs> well, you did. I have We had. Me and Brandon did. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Let's go. We've done one mile. We've hit a hill now. We've already started our first little walk. But it's all good. Done three obstacles, climbed three walls. All right, let's keep on going.
Hold Guys, we are back at the car. We have successfully completed the Spartan race. Now we're gonna dry off and uh, head back to the sack. <laughs> Why shirts are so hard to get off? Why? Post race meal of champions, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In and out burger. So we are back at the house now. I'm gonna say we didn't do that bad. Yeah, we got, yeah. Exactly, because remember, we had no training. I had no <gasps> training. So it's 10 kilometers, 25 obstacles. Well, they said it was 6.6 .6 miles long, but we did it in about two hours and like, 30 to two hours, 40 minutes. I was super stoked that we were able to complete it. It was definitely a lot harder and more I, I, like challenging. mentally challenging. I was having my doubts about if I could even finish it or not, but we got through it and it's definitely something you guys should all try and do because it will challenge you mentally, it will challenge you physically, and you also meet a bunch of like cool people along the way. We saw some dudes doing it in tuxedos. I learned a lot. I learned what my limits were. You know, we tried to do the entire race without failing any of the obstacles, but of course that didn't happen. I failed one obstacle, which means I had to do 30 burpees. But after those 30 burpees, I was like, that is it. No more burpees for me. I gotta complete all the obstacles so I don't have to do any more burpees. And we accomplished that. So we only failed one of the 25 obstacles, but next time we do this race, we will not fail any of them. And we will get a better time as well. Uh, on that note, on to the next adventure. We'll see what that, where that takes us. Good morning people. It is the day after the race. So it's currently like 10 a.m. We're still in bed because we physically can't move. I, know. I was hurting while I slept. <laughs> I was trying to find a comfortable position and I couldn't. I heard you tossing and turning all night. I was like, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I can't sit up. My abs hurt. Shoulders, my back are sore. My hammies, my calves, like my thighs. There's not a part in my body that's not awesome. Aaron, how are you feeling? Because I'm just hurting all over the place. Everything hurts Aaron's. right now. I just feel like dying. All right, we're gonna attempt to get up. Oh, he struggles, <laughs> struggles. Oh dear Lord, and we're up. All right guys, straight torture chamber stuff. Aaron made a green juice. I think it's like, I don't know what's in here. Bananas, apples, celery, kale. Oh, it smells straight like celery. If it was just celery water. Here goes nothing. To recovery. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that is delicious. And just like that, guys, we are on our last day in Sacramento, California. We are heading back home, at least for a little short while. 
before my next trip to I'd like to thank Aaron for sponsoring me out here. Thank you very much, my guy. Of course. I had a, a ridiculous amount of fun doing the Spartan race and everything else that we did. We're signing off. We'll see you guys on the next vlog. So make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button down below and also leave a like, comment, and I will see you very, very soon. More adventures to come, people. So just stay tuned. Absolutely. Remember, keep on dreaming, guys. Deuces.